What's up guys, this is Hunter the Right Dragon. I am here today to bring you guys a playthrough of ReZero starting life in another world, the Prophecy of the Throne. I literally just bought this game as soon as I saw it on Amazon um, a couple of days like a couple of days ago. So the fact that it came here now I'm ready to play it. So this is interesting. I'm guess this is so I'm guessing it's supposed to be a visual novel, but I also seen like little character models, although I'm not really sure because I was looking um, I was looking in like the fan things that you see, no, like the fan things, but I was looking here, basically, when I was trying to look up like little things for it, but I don't think it's, I think it's just a visual novel. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into this, because this is going to be interesting. Good! And finally, raise both arms, and victory! You know, I forgot that this um, series was actually dubbed by Funimation, so I was actually not expecting the game to be dubbed. Victory! The villagers are speaking, so let's see. You really bring out the life in everyone, Subaru. <laughs> Amelia. You may even be more popular than Ram and Rem. Well, I mean, I did kind of... Oh, whoops. I didn't mean Put to do my that. neck on the line to save the village. That he did in season one. I needed to watch season two, actually. And just like a true gentleman, I didn't hang it over their heads either. Surely such a gesture will have Melee falling head over heels for me once more. <laughs> But what I heard, she already does later on. I don't recall ever having such feelings for you in the first place. Besides, I think their impression of you is a bit different. In their eyes, you're more of a sage than some legendary hero. Uh... You know, because you're so knowledgeable about so many peculiar things. I guess I'm my own, believe it or don't, huh? But I'm pretty sure the only thing they've caught on to are my radio calisthenics. These early morning exercises ended up being way more popular with the villagers than I expected. It's become such a big event that have the village participates every time, every today. I mean, even today. What else have I taught them in such a short amount of time? Nothing really comes to mind. Mm -hmm. Right. Either way, it's been about a month since I came to this world. A month? Jesus. Bug is talking to Amelia. Think back on what happened. I guess let's think back on what happened. Is all of this my blood? Oh shit, they're really getting to the thick of things. My life's flowing out of me. Oh, that's I'm interesting. Going to die soon. I don't want to die. No way. Because I... Hang on. No matter what happens, I'm gonna save you. Millie. This was the moment I Subaru Natsuki died for the first time in my life, marking the beginning of my strange fate. And it had all started several hours ago. Speaking of strange fate, I'm waiting for fate, strange, uh, strange fate to actually come out. Wait a minute! Have I been summoned to another world? <laughs> Before me was an unfamiliar city in an equally unfamiliar world. From the look of things, it seems like some kind of fantasy world. A realm where demi-humans walked alongside humans with giant lizards pulling carriages down the main road. Unless this is some sort of elaborate prank, I seem to have been reincarnated in another world. It all happened so suddenly when I was walking back home from the convenience store, a surprise trip to another world, but that wasn't the biggest problem here. Where was everything that normally came along with this fantasy stuff? No pretty heroic heroine, bleh, no pretty heroines, um, excluding Amelia, but he hasn't met her around this time, or weapons anywhere. 
well, no legendary magical weapons he's talking about. No special abilities, uh, either. Yes, there is. You just haven't figured it out yet. And not as far as I could tell. You're gonna need a better welfare program if you want to satisfy lazy-ass kids like me. No, <laughs> what? He ain't wrong about no, that, though. my bad. Watch it, man. That hurt. Gaston. Ton. The hell are you? I haven't seen you around here. What the fuck is wrong with his eyes? Cough up everything you've got. Unless you want to get hurt. Oh, this motherfucker. Three guys got on my case spouting the typical lines you'd hear from thugs like them. I decided to call them Tom, Chin, and Khan. And uh, they surrounded me, punching and kicking me all over. I was beaten to a pulp without a chance to fight back. Uh, was that really it? I hadn't been done any- I haven't even done anything yet. Was I really going to die all alone in a place like that? That's enough. <gasps> Just then, a voice ranged out like a silver bell. Oh, and there stood an unbelievably beautiful girl. I can't overlook what's going on here. The girl summoned m magical shards of ice from thin air, knocking down all three of the thugs one by one. Then mess with us, will ya? I don't care if you're an aristocrat or magic user. Let's surround her and kill her! How are you gonna do that? Go ahead and try, if you dare. Do anything to her, and I'll haunt you and your kin forever. Not that you'll have any kin if I take care of things now. You use these spiritual arts? Damn it! We won't forget this! This cute, silver-haired girl had saved me from danger. Our encounter had determined how I'd be living in this world. I truly believe that. Her name, which I didn't know at the time, is Amelia. But simply, she's nothing less than an angel. Oh, and that flying cat thing is a spirit of hers named Puck. He has all sorts of abilities, not to mention his furry... F his fluffy fur is also amazing to pet. Uh, you really saved me there. Thank you. Don't get the wrong idea. I only stuck around because there are some things I want to ask you. She proceeded to explain that she'd been looking for something. Even though she was super busy and in a big hurry to find it, she still stopped to help me out. Despite that, all she did afterwards was tell me to be more careful next time. She even tried to leave without me repaying her. How could I not help out a girl like her? And it had nothing to do with the fact that she's totally my type. <laughs> yep, hey, it did. Mind letting me help? I want to repay you somehow. There's no need for that. You already answered my question saying you don't know anything about it. That's adequate compensation for healing you. Mm. <sighs> You're a real stubborn one, ain't you? Then yeah. I'll help you for my <laughs> own sake. I'll be doing one good deed a day. How's that? Hmm. All right. But I won't be able to offer you any reward. He wasn't asking for a reward. I don't seek out good deeds for compensation, so just leave it to me. Oh, by the way, I haven't heard your name yet. <laughs> it's Satella. Lie. I see. Satella it is. Nice to meet you. Actually, I'm not even sure about that now from what I'm actually looking at. Huh? Like, her and Satella are very, very close. Hmm? Did I say something weird? No, it's nothing. Um, it's nice to meet you too. I'm sure it is. How tasteless. Definitely tasteless for her to use Satella's name like that. Uh, the name Amelia first identified herself. Wait, the name Amelia first identified the girl named Amelia first identified herself with to me was a pseudonym. Pseudonym. The Witch of MV went by that name, which was why Puck pointed out that her statement was in poor taste. Although. Amelia said it for my own consideration to deter any further involvement. Of course, that was something I'd only find out about later. So this thing you're looking for, an insignia, was it? 
Too bad she got involved. Yes, it's a very important she was item. Involved the moment you but died. someone stole it from me. If it were anything else, I'd give up on it. Mm -hmm. But I can't let this go so easily. And so we walked around the royal capital in an attempt to figure out where she, her insignia had taken off to. Though I did end up not being very useful, I couldn't read anything in this world after all, nor did I understand the way this world works. Pretty sure I was just getting in the way. It's kind of funny how he can read nothing, but they can actually talk the same language. So, the slums are where stolen items get pawned off. But do we really need to go inside that loot house or whatever? It looks awfully suspicious is what he's trying to say. As I said, that insignia is very important, so... I wonder if they're actually going to show it. We need to get it back no matter what, right? I mean, right, then. of course they would Let me show scout it like the place a, out. I'll redeem all my like blunders C, with this. Like a CG of it. I was thinking CE, okay, but CG. But please be careful. I will. I might not get back till later, so feel free to have dinner without me. Oh, don't be so silly. I have to say, this was the silliest and happiest moment for me. I mean, I'd finally gotten her to laugh. But. Actually, this is a little kind of weird. Me. Whoa, it's so dark in here. Wait, was Subaru the first one to go in? Yeah, Subaru was the first one to go in. Huh? Is this b blood? Mm, oh shit. Right, Rom and Felt were the ones. It appears you found me out. I suppose I have no choice then. Oh, How she sounds sexy. I was actually well, that voice actually fits surprisingly enough. <laughs> Wait, are these the Funimation actors, or am I tripping? It burns. Wait, was Subaru the first to get? Yeah, Subaru was the first to get slashed. I was trying to figure out. I wasn't entirely sure what had just happened. All I felt was this burning sensation coursing through my stomach, and my mind went blank shortly after. I was so preoccupied that I was unaware of my current surroundings. I'm not sure if I'll ever forgive myself for that. All because I let the pain distract me. Baru? <gasps> Baru? <laughs> oh, right. As I lay there, fading in and out of consciousness, it hit me that Amelia had been struck down by the blade assailant as well. <laughs> No matter what happens. I'm gonna save you. The Witch of Envy, Satella, really just reached out. It's here that I experienced my first death uh, since arriving in this world. And there's the first checkpoint. Hey, what's the matter with you, kid? The market dude. What? When I came to, a stern looking guy was standing before me. All I could do was stand still confused. I'd go on to find out that this was a save point for me. Save point, I'm beginning to dislike that fa phrase. Whenever I die, I'm brought back to a specific place and time in the recent past. I've been sent to this world without any sort of cheap, cheap powers but I was given the, that single ability. I call it Return by Death. Well, that's not your only ability, though. But I don't become fully aware of it until sometime later. Anyway, my troubles were far from over here. I ran out off, still confused by what was happening. All I could do was make my way to the loot house. This time, I found felt the thief who sn um, snatched Amelia's insignia and old man Rom inside. We should have technically been enemies, but I couldn't find it in me to hate them for whatever reason. In fact, after we chatted each other up for a bit, I became quite fond of them. As we, I think it's the death thing, because you saw them their dead bodies. Despite his fierce appearance, old man Rom loved Phil, whom he affectionately cares for as... 
a granddaughter and felt returns the appreciation and kind. Knowing this, I wanted to save them from the issuing tragedy as well. They were kind souls even all the way out here would help others despite being wrapped up in their own problems. Even if they were chasing down a thief who stole something they cherished. Showing their concern, <clears throat> concern by saving some worthless stranger and clumsily assuring them to not feel indebted. It took three whole deaths for Amelia's kindness to touch the core of my very being. I had to get Amelia's insignia back no matter what. I'd returned by death three times by now after overcoming the intense battle in the loot house I finally came face to face with Amelia again. With felt old man Rom and Reinhardt watching, I looked into Amelia's eyes. My name's eyes. Subaru I've got a lot to talk to you about, but I'll set that aside for now if you grant me this one request. I want you to tell me your name. Huh? My name is Amelia. Just Amelia. Thank you for saving me, Subaru. Just Amelia. Just Monica. I looked Amelia. I took Amelia's outstretched hand in mine. The smile of hers, along with her name, were the only rewards for all my efforts. But they were more than enough for me. Thus marked the end of my first battle, having overcome numerous hardships along the way. Although my stomach still got sliced open in the end and I quickly lost consciousness, when I woke up, I was at a place where Amelia is staying inside Roswell's manor. After surviving the battle at the loot house, I'd obtained Amelia's true name, her cat fairy's appreciation, and had been offered a nice life at a noble's mansion. You guys have a personal clown to perform before you eat? <laughs> Doesn't that get a little pricey? <laughs> right, personal clown. He did think that's what Roswell was a at clown? first. clown? What an interesting speculation. I am the owner of this manor, Roswell L. Mathers. Dude, it's your freaking, it's your freaking makeup. You look like a court jester. This sketchy looking dude is the Margrave of this territory known as Roswell. He's apparently been helping Amelia out for some reason Please or another. Please mercy, sir. Spare me and Defile's sister instead. What? <laughs> That's not what she said. Please do no such thing, sir. Spare me and violate Rem instead. Oh my god, they did not say that about each other. <laughs> oh no. No, I think it was something along the lines with this dude is... This dude has a weird look in his eye like he's fantasizing about violating us in the, in his mind. That's what I think was that's what I think what was said. I don't think they actually try to throw the one another under the bus. <laughs> the twin maids tend I mean tending to him are Ram and Rim. They mess with me using their sisterly love. It would seem another strange person has appeared. Betty cannot fathom what goes his face on is still round. Last but not least is Beatrice. She's a cute looking but blunt drill lolly who resides over the manor's library. Having overcame my most recent return by death at the royal capital, I was able to start my new life with these rather eccentric residents of Roswell's manor. But despite all this, I still hadn't faced all the trials this world had in store for me yet. Uh, during my first day at the manor, I learned about the situation Amelia is currently in during breakfast. Uh, since the kingdom of Luguncia has lost its king, Amelia is one of the royal candidates to succeed the throne. The insignia she'd been looking for in the capital was proof of her candidacy for the royal selection. As a reward for helping her get it back, Roswell offered me a blank contract, and basically he was telling me to name my Go price. On, tell me what you desire. As it stands, I am in no position to deny you. Now, what do you wish to receive as compensation? I only want one thing. Let me work in this mansion. First he said, let me live here free of charge. <laughs> oh wait, no, no, no. 
Never mind. He did say, let me work at this mansion first. And then later on, he said, let me stay here free of charge. I had to think about that. And just like that, I was hired on as a servant of sorts in Roswell's Manor. I decided to secure a foundation for my life here rather than ask for any material compensation. Uh, not to mention that this would help me stay near the girl I liked so much. Not bad, eh? Ram and Ram taught me the ways of servitude in the mansion and I slowly grew closer to Amelia in the process. Which was not the best thing since he should have been getting close to all three girls, but... I began building up my own way of living in this world. Subaru Natsuki will make great strides today! <sighs> what are you two doing in here? Oh, this is so embarrassing! You should have said something! <laughs> sister, sister, our guest is overly familiar with his greeting. What? Rem, Rem, our guest is presumptuously friendly with his greeting. Oh, good lord. <laughs> oh, how much I missed this so much. This shit was funny. What was up with them? They were acting pretty cold, but then in my confusion, it dawned on me. They were calling me a guest like I was some stranger. The past few days I'd spent here and had vanished along with all of my scars from the work I'd done. I'd returned by death. Ah, right, that's what happened. It turns out that this morning was my new save point in my time at the manor and cured four more deaths. I died here more times than when I found Elsa the back in the capital, but it wasn't a matter of my life uh, my death count up to this point. There were there are a few things I learned after returning by death so many times. First, it seems I have the lingering which is sent on me. Which is fucking... Uh... Answer me. You've aligned yourself with the witch, haven't you? Hell no. Witch. Don't play dumb with me. Such bald-faced lies will only take you so far when the foul stench of the witch is covering you from the inside out. The other thing is that I can't explain my return by death power to anyone. Amelia, just listen. I can return... Oh shit, they actually kind of rec recreated that. I can still feel the fear that struck me in that very moment. Time stopped around me as I feel a dark hand reach out and stroke my heart. My soul crumbles from the fear and pain crushing my heart. It was then I realized I couldn't tell a single person about my secret. Even if I committed suicide, if I commit suicide, I'll still return by death. It's all not picky about whether I kill myself or if someone else does it does me in. And yet, no matter how many times I die, I'll never get used to this power. What's even harder is knowing that no one around me will remember our time together. There. I'm forced to reforge my bonds with the people uh, I previously grown close to close with my own head fills with an increasing number of memories only I can remember but there are certain memories that all of us manage to retain you have some things that Ron doesn't so you should just accept that I mean you're kind you're a hard worker and you're incredibly sincere even your chest is bigger <laughs> okay, okay, she does react I'm to so that. So glad you're here, Rem. Thank you. The her reactions in like the anime was kind of weird because it was like mm, instead of her. Come on, don't cry. Where I come from, there's a saying that goes, "Speak of next year and the demons laugh." So let it out. Hey, what? Come on, Rem. Smile and laugh as we discuss the future. We can start with tomorrow. I'm guessing he's talking about shooting and freaking Evo Rocky. That's the, that's what that sounds tomorrow. like. Tomorrow, tomorrow, I love you. 
tomorrow. We can laugh it out while we talk about what's in store for us then. I've always the wanted to talk in store about for the future with death. the demon, you know. Deaf, deaf, and more deaf. <laughs> You're as fanatical as a demon yourself. <laughs> right? I think you're thinking more of an Oni. <laughs> After returning by death four times, I'd awake, awoke into another new day. A day where I'd managed to save the manor and the neighboring village of Arlum from a group of mob beasts. Well, Roswell was the one to kill them all off in the end, but that's just a small detail to the larger story. But at the end of the day, as thanks to us fighting our way through the incident, I was able to achieve my reward of going on a date with Amelia. All right, now let's go on our date. Wait, is that where we are right now? Date? We basically go somewhere together and look at the same things, eat the same things, do the same stuff together, and just share our memories with each other. Oh, is that all? That's all I want. <laughs> all right, then I'll go on this date with you. She doesn't understand the ramifications of that. <sighs> Having gone through so much and dying more times than I can count, I'd managed to rebuild my trusting relationship with the residents of the mansion. I'd finally obtained the place where I belonged after coming to this world. Subaru, are you okay? Does your stomach hurt? Nope, he was just taking a trip down memory lane. Oh, sorry about that. My stomach doesn't hurt. I'm totally fine. Items? Menu? What? Okay, so... Apparently we get items, empty missions, and all now, that. Back to what we were talking about. I don't want to waste even a millisecond of my precious time with you. <laughs> yeah, Let's cute. see. We were talking about the knowledge I've bestowed upon everyone here, right? Yes. You know about so many obscure things. You taught the children new games to play, and even made them little potato stamps. Oh, and that mayonnaise stuff, too. That's it. Mayonnaise. As a bona fide mayonnaise connoisseur, I succeeded in recreating such a delicacy with Rem's help. Emilia ended up taking a pretty big liking to it. It's been a huge hit among the villagers in Arlon Village too. Young and older like, what the fuck? I was not ready for that. <laughs> I feel like my efforts in the Mob Beast incident were really diminished, seeing how it's being mentioned in the same line as mayonnaise. <laughs> I put my life on the line for everyone, man. I mean, I went to help the kids from the village, only to get bitten by some dogs. And I even saved Rem after she tried to save me in the forest, and got bitten by more dogs. <laughs> and almost got bitten by Rem, too. And Roswell had to come in and save the day before the dogs bit off even more of me. To think, all that effort is on par with mayonnaise. <laughs> Wait, hold up! Did I do anything other than get eaten by those hellhounds? Nope. <laughs> and ran around basically carrying everybody. Oh, come on. Don't fuss over the small details. <laughs> but Mealy! Many of us know how hard you've worked. On trying not to get that eaten. That includes Roswell, <laughs> Ron, and Rem especially. <laughs> and that goes for me too. Sure. Huh? I know full well the amount of effort you put into everything you've done lately. So no more being down in the dumps over all this. Alright? Are you finally falling in love with him then? Spoilers, yes. <laughs> well? My boy over oh. here. Y yeah. Don't you fall for her like that now. Why are you moping about like a broken toy? <sighs> You're always like this. Actually, he's not moping right now. He was freaking going crazy. It's not like I was doing it on purpose. Anyway, this isn't fair. How do I not fall for you all over again after that? Oh, get. <laughs> Precious Amelia. Yes, yes. 
I think it's a pretty bad habit of yours to so quickly change the subject like that. I think it's your fault that you just don't understand the situation that's happening. He's actually telling you this shit. So, the mayonnaise loving Subaru created the recipe for mayonnaise with Rim's help. Meeting it with a visitor. Emilia is more important to Subaru than anyone, even himself. What the flacking freak? Alright. In the ADV part, you can enjoy the storyline and use the auto skip and backlog function. On the item screen, you can exa examine all the items you've obtained. On the menu screen, you can use several game functions such as save, load, and options. On the flowchart screen, you can check the current scenarios progression rate on the album screen you can check information such as character details if you need help with controls use the help button on the but on the button right of the screen to check the what functions are usable now let's move the story along oh there's a dragon carriage in front of the mansion oh we're just going through the freaking anime Dragon carriage? You mean those horse carriage looking? While these seem to be horse drawn at first glance, there's a pretty distinct difference between them. The creature pulling the carriage along isn't a horse, but a giant Although, lizard. Now that I think about it, they were pretty common to see in the royal capital. What did you call it again? A dragon carriage? Ah, uh, oh yeah. Hmm? That's right. The land dragon is the one pulling the carriage along, so it makes sense to call it as such, no? Wait, did I make a mistake? Does it have a more official name? Yeah, horse-drawn carriage, but apparently this one doesn't fit the <sighs> real. No, no. I'm the clueless one here. You're correct, so don't worry. Mm, he's the one from a different universe. Is that so? You aren't trying to confuse me, are you? I don't Why the want hell to embarrass I do that? myself later. Why the hell would he do that? If you're lying, you'll really get a walloping from me. A <laughs> walloping? That's a pretty old school phrase. I know, seriously, who the fuck says walloping? Whoa, it's massive. Humongous. I saw them all over the place at the Royal Capital, but this is the first time I've seen one up close. Emilia called these lizards land dragons. They're basically the same size as horses from my world. Wait, that's not who I was expecting. Welcome back. Apologies for parking in front of the entrance. And I was actually are? expecting the old man. I am an envoy sent from the royal capital. An emissary of ours is currently tending to the Margrave. An emissary? Could it be? I believe it has something to do with the royal selection, as I'm sure you've surmised. Uh, Subaru, uh, no ordinary person. I hope Subaru does not get jealous. I ask that you reserve any questions you may have for your meeting with the emissary. They are awaiting your arrival inside. The royal selection. I see. Thank you. Welcome well, back, Miss Amelia. We have been awaiting your return. Uh, Rim the Maid. Thank you. I'm sorry for my absence. I hear we have a guest? Yes, an emissary from the Royal Capital is here to speak with you. Lord oh, Roswell great. is tending to them now. I ask that you please join him. Of yes, course. yes. This is a matter that involves me, so I can't just sit idly by. An emissary from the Capital, huh? This is pretty serious business. I'll be sure not to do anything stupid. Uh... Um... <laughs> sorry, Subaru, but... This is a rather important discussion. Yeah, so you cannot go in there with I her. I know. I'm pretty ner nervous. Oh, so whoops. that's why I'm preparing myself. Sister will be accompanying Miss Amelia to the reception room. There is no need for another servant to do so. Please understand, Subaru. He's not even a servant. Seriously? I'm being left out? I'm sorry, Subaru. Rem, 
please lead the way. <sighs> yes. Please return to your room for the time being, Subaru. I'll come by later and bring you some tea. Right, round face. And there they go. Gee, is this Christ? I know I wouldn't be of much use with my practically non-existent knowledge of this world. Really, be so much trouble to involve me a little more? Yes. I mean, it's thanks to me that the peace and quiet has returned around here. Although I do understand, I'm a little out of my league here. Inadequate. F really? Wow, thanks a lot. Inadequate shit. About his own lack of knowledge, Subaru does his best to do what he can. But understanding that and giving up are two totally different things. Now, what should I do? Not get involved. He's gonna get involved. Fucking Christ. I should try asking Rim again. Yeah, it says during movement parts, control Subaru to talk to other characters. To talk to characters on the map or checkpoints of interest to gather items and information. Collect items and information are. Wait, collected items and information are important to progress, so try talking to various people and checking different spots. Uh, an icon will be displayed on characters you can talk to. Try, try talking to Rem now. I will write it down. I apologize, Subaru. I cannot allow that. Even if it's a request coming from you, I must ask that you give up on joining the meeting. After talking to Rim, try moving to another location and the icon displays over the location you move in. I should go to the main entrance, but now I'm curious about that guy outside. I mean, now, I mean, looks like I won't be able to get into the reception room. I should get some information from the guy outside instead. I can't go empty-handed. I should think about this first. What should I bring with me? Oh, right. Ram's got that stash of expensive le tree leaves. But where does she keep them? Maybe Rem might know. Press the button. Okay. But I can't I am going to stop this here because I want to save the rest for next week because this is some interesting shit But I don't have enough time to get through it. So everybody this has been Hunter Ray Dragon I hope you guys enjoyed this don't and I will to see save. you all Seriously. next time oh, please don't let me Just like the feelings I have grown to